Good morning, this is Bob Mason from FX Empire and welcome to the daily crypto tech review of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin and Ripple's XRP. We'll be looking at the MACDs and moving averages, today's support, resistance and pivot levels and the Fibonacci's. It is Saturday the 19th of June. Jump straight into Bitcoin against US dollar looking at the hourly candlesticks. Mixed start to the day for Bitcoin. Can we see Bitcoin move through the pivot at 36.389 to take a run at the first major resistance level sitting at 37.640. Going to need to see plenty of support from the broader market for Bitcoin's break back through to 37,000 levels. So barring an extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level. And yesterday's high at 38,184.1 to cap any upside. In the event of an extended rally, could see Bitcoin target 40,000 before any pullback. Second major resistance level since at 49,436. Failure to move through the pivot would bring the first major support level at 34,59 into play, barring an extended sell-off on the day Bitcoin should stick to sub-33,000 levels. The second major support level at 33,342 should limit the downside. Looking at the MACDs, we have a narrowing of the bearish histograms following yesterday's late partial recovery, so looking out for a possible bullish cross there. On the EMA, it is a bearish indicator, however, with the 50 pulling further back from the 100 and the 200, and the 100 closing in on the 200. So key through the early part of the day, move through the pivot at 36.389 and back through to 37,000 levels to bring resistance levels into play. Failure to do that, support levels will come into play and look out for a possible bearish cross of the 100 through the 200. Moving across to Ethereum against US dollar, relatively positive start today. Going to need to see Ethereum avoid a fall back through the pivot at 2.246 to take a run at the first major resistance level at 2.367. Going to see plenty of support from the broader market for Ethereum to break back through to 2300 levels. So, barring an extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level. And yesterday's high at 2377.8 to cap any upside. In the event of an extended rally, could see Ethereum target the second major resistance level, saying at 2499 before any pullback. A fall back through the pivot would bring the first major support level 2114 into play, barring another extended surf on the day Ethereum should avoid sub 2000 levels. Second major support level sits at 1993. Looking at the MACD, we've got a widening of the bullish histogram at the turn of the day following yesterday's late bullish cross, supporting this early upside. On the EMA, we're getting a bearish signal, however, with the 50 pulling further back from the 100 and the 200, suggesting further downside ahead. So key would be to avoid a fall back through the pivot at 2246 and move back through to 2300 levels to bring resistance levels into play. Failure to do that and support levels will be in play. Across to Litecoin against US dollar, also a relatively positive start. Going to need to see Litecoin move through the pivot at 158 to take a run at the first major resistance level at 166. Going to need to see support from the broader market for Litecoin to break back through to 160s. So barring an extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level and yesterday's high at 167.39 to cap any upside. In the event of an extended rally, should see Litecoin target the 62% FIB at 174 and the second major resistance level at 175. Failure to move through the pivot bring the first major support level at 149 into play. Barring another extended self on the day, Litecoin should stay clear of sub 140s. Second major support level at 142 should limit the downside. Looking at MACDs, we've got a marked narrowing of the bearish histograms at the turn of the day. So looking out for a bullish cross coming off the back of yesterday's partial recovery late in the day. On the EMAs, however, still a bearish signal with the 50 EMA pulling further back from the 100 and the 200, suggesting further downside ahead. So key would be to move through the pivot at 158 and back through to 160 to bring resistance levels into play. Failure to do that. And support levels will come into play. Finally, looking at Ripple's XRP against US dollar, relatively positive start. Going to need to see Ripple's XRP move through the pivot at 8034 to take a run at the first major resistance level, sitting at 8367. Going to need to see support from the broader market for Ripple's XRP to break back through to 0.83 levels. So, barring an extended rally on day, expect that first major resistance level and the 62% FIB at 8573 to cap any upside. In the event of an extended rally, should see Ripple's XRP target 0 0.90 levels before any pullback. Second major resistance level sits at 8782. Failure to move through the pivot will bring the first major support level sitting at 7619 into play. Barring another extended self on the day, Ripple's XRP should avoid sub 0.70 levels. 
Second major support level at 7286 should limit the downside. Looking at the MACD, similar trend. Marked a narrowing of the bearish histograms and a possible bullish cross coming up, so keep an eye on that. On the EMAs, still a bearish signal with the 50 pulling further back from the 100 and the 200, suggesting further downside ahead. The key would be to move through the pivot at 8034, back through to 0.83 levels to bring resistance levels into play. Failures to do that, and support levels will come into play.